fad. A new fad? A fashion or something in mm -hmm. where David Miscavige is getting named in every lawsuit. Oh yes, David Miscavige, uh, he is being named in the lawsuits, yes. People are naming him in lawsuits. This is just a money tactic. Oh, it's it's a lot of bitter defrocked apostates. Uh, mm. Apostates. The, mm. After a pay, quick payday. Mm. Done all the time. Mm. And what we're doing, we as your uh, WAG attorneys for the Church of Scientology, it's important how we position Mr. Miscavige. Mm. Now, you should know that he's a regular Sea Org member, just like you, right? He lives in Birthing. He like doesn't he like? Does he have a top bunk or bottom bunk in Sea Org Birthing? Mm. Mm. We need to paint a picture of an average Joe. Yeah, he's the, the thing is that he's not even in the locations that these lawsuits are they're drawing him in. Well, no, we're fighting what are called jurisdictional yes. issues. If David Miscavige gets sued in Oklahoma, we argue that he lives in California. If he gets sued in Texas, he lives in California. So we're fighting to say that he's the ecclesiastical leader of a worldwide religion, and yet he's nowhere except California. The implication is that he is running the show Well, in all these lawsuits. They're making him out... In fact, we did argue that the apex argument, wasn't the apex argument? Yes, we argue, in the apex argument, we're arguing that you can't depose a CEO or executive. So you have to remember, it depends what Mr. Miscavige is being sued for. If he's being sued as the leader, we'll argue against an apex deposition. If he's being sued for Narconon, we'll argue that he's never heard of Narconon. We'll argue that he's more like an international goodwill ambassador who flies around opening buildings and cutting ribbons. A Dalai Lama. You more like an ineffectual sort of, you know, fumbling guy who cuts ribbons. Mm -hmm. But like the Dalai Lama, but you wanna we're trying to paint him as just like this ecclesiastical official who's harmless. Exactly. His yes. motto is kindness. Yes. David Miscavige exudes kindness. Kindness. Now that's why my colleague Jeff Riffer wrote, he's a leading figure of our age whose Herculean labors have saved millions from the scourge of drug addiction, illiteracy, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. We want to make him kind of like the Pope, kind of like the Dalai Lama, kind of like ecclesiastical flavored, you know, leader of the world, but he has no real authority. He can't, for example, he doesn't, he's not in charge of the church money or the financial accounts. He's not in charge of the International Association of Scientologists. He's just sort of like a friend to all Scientologists and a friend to all of humanity. But how can we stop, how can we end this getting David Miscavige named in every lawsuit? Do you have a bright idea? Well. No, I think that he'll be named in lawsuits just because he's a high visibility target for suppressive persons. Mm. And you you have to tell your fo the people in the Church of Scientology, because of your 47 times straight up in vertical expansion and the booming ideal orgs and all your successes on uh, the fourth dynamic, yes. that COB is being attacked. They're jealous because of the success of Scientology. It's very jealous. Mm -hmm. It's player hating. So I think things have been going very well, but I can't promise you that David Miscavige will not continue to be sued. Mm -hmm. For some reason, people have it out for him, and they're going to name him on anything. I see. It tells COB for me, it just goes with the territory, but I doubt he'll ever be deposed for anything. And if he is deposed, it's 10 or 15 years away. He doesn't have anything to worry about as long as he has us helping him. Well, if HBO hired 160 lawyers to look at a film, we can hire 360 lawyers to prevent David Miscavige from ever going to deposition. Oh, we need an army of lawyers. We need to increase the uh, Scientology WAG lawyer committee to about 500 lawyers. 500? 
Well, we have over 200 already, and to handle the Alex Gibney's 160, we need about 240. Mm -hmm. So I figure about 500 lawyers. Mm -hmm. That's what we're budgeting for 2015. And, but you can't put a price on keeping the Church of Scientology safe. Mm -hmm. That's why we, at We Fuck Him and How, are here to help you at any cost. Yes. So if you keep paying the bills, we'll keep defending Scientology. Have you seen the new Impact magazine? It's sensational. Page after page after page after page of the whales that give us millions of dollars. Well, you know, every year. As long as you keep the Bob Duggins of the world happy, mm -hmm. we at We Fuck Him and How are happy. Yeah. Those checks really help us. They help us to protect your vision for a world without war, crime, or insanity. Mm. We're here to serve you. Mm. And if you would just sign this requisition for more lawyers, I'll have them hired straight forward, mm. and we can proceed fighting the menace posed by HBO and the BBC. This really is for the greatest good. It is. The, the legal budget sometimes goes out of control you count all the money spent on private investigators and the lawyers, but... But out of control compared to what? To protect. Out of control compared to what? Losing your grip? COB losing control of the existing scene? No, I think it's not enough money. This is very frugal budget for 500 lawyers. It's more than most small countries have but not as much as, say, the U.S. Mm -hmm. So when looked at in perspective, it's just right. It's only money. We're here to serve you. There's people that can be... We, we, we have money, extortion, coercion techniques down to a fine art. And we can make the money that we'll the lawyers keep... need. Thank you. Okay, here you go. So here's my closing message for the new year at hand. Scientology has now come of age, and our footprint is massive. Moreover, our presence will soon grow even greater with still more ideal orgs and ideal advanced orgs to arise in the next 12 months. But let's not forget what powers Scientology is the one-on-one -on -one contact wherein a Scientologist touches that secret chamber in every human heart where freedom beckons. So if ever there was a time to call yourself a Scientologist in the most consummate sense of the word, ascending the bridge with resolute intention, supporting ideal orgs with equal resolution, and immersing yourselves in any of our sectors or campaigns, well, that time is now. Because if ever was a Scientology perfectly machined for escalating beings to higher states, it is Scientology today.